M&A cases are one of 12 general case archetypes that you're likely to see in a case interview. By learning these archetypes, you will build a robust toolkit that you can leverage and combine to excel in any case interview. To identify an M&A case, keep aware for key framing points from your interviewer. This can be, should our client merge with X company? Should we acquire Y company? Should we divest this business unit? Performing an M&A evaluation is a complex procedure, so clarify any points of confusion you have, and then start to dig in on your framework fairly quickly. First, we want to hypothesize and evaluate goals and objectives by digging into the why. The key point here being, does it make good business sense as a strategic move, or are there better alternatives? Start by evaluating if we are trying to increase market access, diversify holdings, get ahead of competition, seek tax advantages, acquire competencies or synergies, or just drive up shareholder value. Then you want to work through questions that would support a due diligence effort that evaluate the company and industry. How has this company been doing historically? How secured are its customers and suppliers? How is the industry doing overall? And how does our company compare? How are the profit margins? Do we need to watch out for any competitive response if we do this? And are there any legal or regulatory hurdles? Then we need to consider the price we will pay for this transaction. Is it a fair price? How are we going to pay for it and can we afford it? And can they survive any unforeseen economic downturns? Lastly, evaluate and hypothesize potential exit strategies. How long are we going to hold this company for? Or are we just trying to split it up and sell it as pieces? Depending on the case and the information shared with you by the interviewer, you can leverage an analysis framework tree similar to this one. Outline the objectives and the why, diving through our evaluation of market access drivers like boosting our brand or just increasing market share, targeting diversification, getting a jump on the competition, seeking tax advantages, driving shareholder value, or pursuing synergies like cost savings, both fixed and variable. Or are we targeting cultural integration or channel expansion? Outline your due diligence risks. What is the shape of the economy? What is the market positioning? Is there security of supply and sales pipeline? Are there any overall industry risks? What do the margins look like? And who is the competition? Then dig into the cost. Is the price fair? Are they profitable? Can we afford it? How are we paying for it? Do we have to integrate any costs? And can we field the broader economic risks that this company may face? And then dig into your exit strategy. How long will we be holding or do we plan to break it up and sell it? Remember to follow your general case approach, be confident, and be comfortable flexing and adapting your framework to fit the needs of the case to answer the question at hand. If you made it this far, please consider liking and subscribing for more professional development content and feel free to comment any questions below. Bye.